Hey class, oh my goodness, look at all this review time. Well, let's see, hopefully you took it and then um, you're checking to see how you did or what questions you have. And if you do have questions, please post them on the, the um, discussion board so people can answer each other or I can answer you or whatever. Oh, what was that? Oh, I thought I just saw a panda. Nope, it wasn't a panda, it was my um, son. All right, here we go, so let's see. Um, let's go. So what are the following? represents linear relationships. Okay, so this is how you check. Let me see if I can, all right. All right, this is how to check to see if they are linear. You go down one side and say, okay, that changes by one and this changes by three. And I'm just seeing, is that consistent? Changes by one, changes by three, changes by one, changes by three, changes by one, changes by three. This is linear. So table one indeed is linear. Table two changes by one, Changes by four, changes by one, changes by five. Oop, not linear. For it to be linear, it has to be a constant pattern all the way through. Changes by one, changes by five, changes by one, changes by five, changes by one, changes by five, changes by one, changes by five. Table three is linear. <clears throat> now it says write an equation of the ones that are linear, or pick one. So I'm going to go with table one. Okay, table one tells me that it changes three each time. That is my rate of change. That is my unit rate. So that is going to be my equation. So my equation is either time is three times distance or its distance is three times time. This is the thing that students kind of mix up a little bit. They're trying to figure out which one goes first, which one goes where. Here's a couple of ways you can kind of tell is what do you need to find the other one? Right here. What do you need to find the other one? Got that? So whatever you need to find the other one, so like I give you this number and you get the other one. So for instance, um, on table one here, um, if you want to find, let's see, you put in your time. Once you put in your time, then you know your distance. So this is the equation. Once you put in your time, then you know how far you've run or whatever is going on. Let's try it in this other one. So for this other one, your unit rate is five. Okay, so that is going to be my unit rate, my constant rate of change. So that's going to be five. Um, okay, we'll go brown. Um, let's see. So five times the number of days I put in it is how much money I have. Now notice the pattern here. The days, the first thing is in the in the equation time is in the equation and ends up equaling the second thing it ends up equaling the second thing it's kind of a pattern you can look for which table represents a proportional relationship oh by the way that whole equation thing you will get better at it you really will you really will as we do it more and more which ones are proportional okay table one is not proportional for two different reasons um i look at it it starts at zero three so it doesn't start at the origin. So 0, 3, so it's not proportional. Another way to look is this. This is for table 3. So 1 over 6 is not equal to 2 over 9. And I get that from that grouping right there. Table 3 is proportional. It goes to the origin, 0, 0. But also, when I look at just some of the data there, 1 is to 5 is equal to 2 is to 10, which is equal to 4 is to 20. Proportional, proportional. A couple things you want to look for. Is it proportional and is it linear? Let's look at this guy. This does represent a linear relationship because it does make a nice straight line. Um, let's use a color besides white. Um, identify the rate of change. So how much is it changing each time? So when I look at this really close, I can see right here, it changes, looks like $10 per week. I could even do it bigger, right here. 60, 70, 80, 90, so it changes $30 for three weeks. So my rate of change though, the rate you're looking for really is the unit rate. So true, it is $30 for each three weeks, but really, ultimately, I'm looking for what it is. So it's $10, $10 per week, but because it's going down, looks like he's losing money, so it's negative $10. Negative because they're losing each time.
If you're not sure about that, please ask a question. What else we got here? Ooh, number three. Let's see. Oh, I just want to know the rate, the rate of change, or the unit rate. Writing in white again. Okay, the car rental is 205 for the week plus 15 cents per mile right there, per one mile. So really, my rate of change is 15 cents per each mile. So that's the unit rate. There it is. Ding, 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 ding. All right, next one. Oh, the graphing situation. All right, Carl is mowing lawns to save money. He starts with $35. Okay, starts with $35, super important. And $15 for each lawn. Now, I already graphed it out so you guys don't have to spend so much time waiting for me to, like, graph. So there's my table. Started at zero, went all the way up to 10. Started at $35, and I jumped $15 each time. Check your numbers, make sure it's true. Um, I put lawns on the bottom, money on the side for my graph because the amount of money I do depends on the lawn, how many lawns I mow. Um, notice this guy right here at zero, but if, before I mow any lawns at all, and it's 35 bucks. Okay, so 35 is right there. Um, write an equation for the total. Let's see, so my equation comes from this. I notice that it changes $15 per time, so $15 per each lawn, and um, it's $35 to start with. So how much money do I get is going to be my $15 for each lawn, and I already had $35 to start with the whole thing, and that's how much money I get. So equations really don't have to be too complicated, so don't work too hard on just kind of think through it a little bit. What's changing each time, and are you starting with a certain amount? Are you, What's changing each time, and we're starting at a certain amount. And for the 110, I can look at a couple different things. I can look at my graph, so it looks like it happens right here. I can look at my table, or I can look at my equation and plug it in to find out that it really is going to take five lawns to get to my 110 mark. All right, that's it. How'd you do? Hope it went well. Um, please just ask questions, get better and better at this, and you will.